Hello friends, I am back with one more NDA question. Uh, so this question I have chosen from uh, chapter motion class 11. So let's read the question. A mass of 2 kg is whirled in a circle in a horizontal plane at an initial speed of 5 revolution per minute. Keeping the radius constant, the speed is increased so that the centripetal force is 4 times the initial value. Now you have to find out the ratio of final speed to initial speed. So first of all, when you were reading the question, you might have understood that this question is from the centripetal force 1. Okay, so uh, as you know that it is whirled or you are rotating it in a circular fashion. Okay, so you will have to use the formula of force for the centripetal one. So uh, you can pause the video, you can try the numerical on your own and write the answer in comment section. Okay, so if you have already done it and written the comment, uh, written the answer in comment section, then very well done. Uh, let's solve this numerical now. What is given to us is mass of 2 kg. So mass 2 kg is given to us. Then the initial, uh, you can say speed is given to us. In case of the circular motion, they have given us speed in revolution per minute. So it will be the omega or you can say uh, angular speed so omega 1 let's say this is initial uh, is 5 revolution per minute okay the next thing is they are saying radius is constant radius is constant it is not going to change fine they are saying radius is constant and we have increased the speed let's say w2 is somewhat increased speed okay now the centripetal force is four times the initial value if you are increasing the uh, angular speed the centripetal force let's say f2 is four times of f1 this is given to us this is a very important thing which they have given to us okay now you will have to find out the ratio of final speed to initial speed so this is final speed divided by initial speed this ratio you have to find out you don't have to find the final speed the ratio of final to initial speed you have to find so let's uh, write the formula of force for centripetal action so force let's say f1 is m r omega square see mass is not going to change radius is not going to change so i'm not putting any notation or any initials in m and r okay in this case since this is initial force so this will be initial uh, angular velocity similarly for f2 i can write m r omega 2 square okay now we have to find out the ratio so i can write down f2 by f1 you can divide this equation equation let's say dividing equation 2 by equation 1 so we get m r omega 2 square divided by m r omega 1 square m r and mr will get cancelled out and from this you know what is given to us that f2 is 4 times of f1 so this is it omega 2 upon omega 1 whole square i can write it like this okay this f1 f1 will get cancelled out and it is 4 is equals to omega 2 upon omega 1 and this square I am putting in the left hand, uh, left hand side and it will be the square root okay now if you are solving it you will get the ratio omega 2 by omega 1 it will be 2 so this is the result you got the ratio of speed as of you can say omega 2 by omega 1 as 2 and this is there in the numerical which is option number b so this is the correct answer i hope you have understood now you can uh, practice more by following the link given below thank you